afternoon. We are going to make communion bread. Quite simple recipe. This is what I use. I use the pastry flour, whole wheat pastry flour, and I bought it from nuts.com. You can buy it from anywhere. ShopRite has it. You can buy red um, bobs, all of those pastry powders. It's just that I prefer to use this one. Also, we use kosher salt and canola oil. These are the ingredients that we need to get started. So I have all of my ingredients measured out. It is two cups of whole wheat pastry flour. It is half a cup of oil. I have a third cup of water. And then I have one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. So what I do is I put, I pour the oil and I'm using a, a Ziploc bag. I pour the oil into the Ziploc bag. Add the water to it. And then I put the salt in. I close the bag up and I shake it up, get it all mixed up very good together. So it's kind of cloudy at this time. Here the water in there, the liquid. I have two cups of whole wheat flour that I pour in. So the bag this way it doesn't get all over everything and then I rub it all in together just to make sure that it's all together just to let any extra air out. And I can roll it like this. And you let it sit for approximately 15 minutes. So I have another one that's all ready, that's been sitting. I use my rolling pin and I roll it out in the Ziploc bag. You wanna make sure that's an even consistency. Open the bag just a little bit just so that we can while we're using the rolling pin to do this if you use it in a ziploc bag everything stays there and you don't have to worry about a messy area and you just kind of feel it to make sure that it is the same throughout if it is not you want to roll it out so that it's a even consistency Okay, now, feels good all the way over. I use my scissors, and what I do is open the bag to cut 
then use my knife and take the bag, open it all the way. Take it all the way over. Cut it like that. Get rid of it. Then you use your parchment paper. your cookie tray put it on it and you get rid of the top of the bag now what I do here is I use a ruler and I just take my knife and cut it all the way through Just continue to cut it all the way. And this makes it easier because what will happen is once it is baked, then it's already in pieces. And you can just go ahead and we put them on the tray. And you do the other side. Once the ruler is there, then I just do, I cut it on both sides. Cut it through. And you take this all the way down. You make sure that you cut right through to the parchment paper. It might be easier to just, you can buy it in a roll or you can buy it in sections. I just grabbed it in sections. Then you take your fork and you just take the fork diagonally and you just put it like that. oven should be set to 400 degrees and I'm going to take the one out that was in there and I'm going to put this one in just had to cheat just a little bit so you can see the finished product you take it off the cookie cutter you put it on there and you just let it cool And that's the way it looks. And you have your communion bread. For this, again, you just need two cups of whole wheat pastry flour. You need half a cup of oil. I recommend you use canola oil. Any canola oil is fine. Um, a third cup of water. And I use two teaspoons of kosher salt. And that's it. That is the communion bread.
Thank you.